All right, let's move. Playoff predictions. Oh, Starting at one. By, hold on, let's let's do our let's do our ads. Uh, okay. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Go check out more information on all six of their sports books over at tunicatravel.com. You can find more information on our picks, our predictions, all that wonderful stuff over at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump into the college football playoff predictions after week number seven. Whew. Uh, I mean, did, did we want to start with like our five and six. Do you have a five and six here? Like no, five, let's just start with one because we know what one's going to be and we'll work our way down. Okay, well, all right, so we've both got Alabama one. Uh, number one will be Bama, probably on the okay. season. Okay, all right, so who have we got at – here, I'll, I'll go to – well, did you say you do have a five and six? No. Okay, at my five and six, I'll tell you who's not in it. Okay. I've got Oklahoma and UCF. Okay. Those two, I think, are, are right there at the cusp, and that will be the ranking at the end of the season. Um, if I had to pick one that was out, it would be with Michigan. Michigan's okay. my one out. Okay. Um, who's uh, who's your number two? Number two is Notre Dame. Okay. I think they're going to win out. I think they're going to be undefeated. And and I think they're going to moonwalk into this spot. Okay. I've got Ohio State as my two. So, uh, until Harbaugh beats them, and like, I'll tell you I, this. I don't, know. I don't know that they beat Michigan State. I don't know that they beat Michigan they they have not looked great in a couple of games. Now they look like world beaters in a couple of games, but but they look beatable. They're not this vaunted team like Alabama is, of just rolling through everybody. They're Oklahoma to me. If somebody plays an A game and they play the game they've been playing, they're going to slip up and they're going to lose one. And then yeah. they got to play either Wisconsin or Iowa in a championship game if they if they run the gauntlet. And I don't know that that's happening either. I think they're going to step up and lose. I'm predicting. You know, you know how entertaining that would be if Iowa won the Big Ten? Yeah, yeah. Like if they beat Ohio State and knocked them out of a playoff spot. Would Wisconsin need to get another loss, though, because they have the tiebreaker? Wisconsin's only got one Big Ten loss. Yeah, but they, they just need one more loss, and they still play who, Penn State? I think they play at Penn State. Oh, yeah, they do, and, and Iowa doesn't. Yeah, that would, that, that's a tough game. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So, who's uh, your two was Notre Dame? My two was Ohio State. My three is Notre Dame. Yeah, I figure that. So, uh, I don't think their schedule is as difficult as Ohio State's. If they both went out, I think Ohio State strength of schedule puts them in the two. Uh, Notre Dame is back at number three. Uh, so, who you who do you have at three? My number three is sadly Clemson. I think Clemson's going to go undefeated, and and you got to put them in if they do. I think the eight. ACC is just bad. I I agree. I think they are not impressive. Awful. Well, and, and what's crazy is I think even if Clemson loses to NC State no nope. Saturday, nope. If Clemson loses a game, their ass better be a thousand miles from this. If you're dropping Georgia out of the top ten for a loss at LSU, if Clemson loses, but that's a game, just me. Georgia may make their way back but, in. They but, got, but no, no, no. There's no plan. They got chances. Again. If you're Clemson and the ACC is this far down and you're not undefeated, you don't get invited to the table. We take a two-loss LSU or a two-loss Georgia team over. You're sorry, but Yeah, I mean, because you, you don't pay anybody. You don't play no, you don't anybody. Play yeah. You're out. You're completely out. And my number four is UCF. They're not losing the game. They're going undefeated. They're going to beat Cincinnati. They're going to beat South Florida. Then they're going to beat South Florida again in the play. Or uh, well, no, it won't be South Florida. It'll be uh... – Memphis, maybe. Well, no, Memphis has got three conference losses now. Yeah, uh, but Houston, Houston, probably. Houston, what do you think? Houston's going to have not three conference losses by then? They don't now. I mean, they, they don't have to play the tough half of the other other division. So No, but they'll, they'll if they play Memphis and Memphis beats them and they lose another game, Memphis will have the tiebreaker. Anyway, they're going to win the championship game, and they're yep. going to go two years undefeated in – Ohio State's going to fall apart. And now we're having the conversation of do we have a one loss or two loss, Michigan, LSU, Georgia, or do we let Oregon in with a loss? Like, like this is the conversation that's going to be had. And at some point, a grown-up needs to step up and say, none of these teams that we're going to let in have a chance to beat Alabama. So why not do the right thing and put a team that has earned it in? That makes sense. What would be the harm in that? What would be 
the harm in saying, we're going to invite you to the table. And if you pull off the ultimate David versus Goliath, if you, little guy, beats this Alabama team, then you've earned it. And we're now, all it, wrong for keeping let me, it forever. Let me ask you this question. If you've got Alabama, let who, which one gets bigger ratings? Alabama, Clemson, Alabama, Oklahoma, Alabama, UCF. I think Alabama UCF because the entire country will show up to watch that game. We have watched Alabama Oklahoma, two massive fan bases. They'll show up, but they also have a lot of people that hate them that will go yep. do other stuff on New Year's Eve. And and then and then the same thing for Clemson. We've seen that game three times already. We don't yep. need to see it again. I'm telling you, if you if you want a ratings thing, everybody that's a part of college football that is not a blue blood is going to turn in to watch the little guy, at least for the first quarter, to see <laughs> Kenny. That's true. And as long as the game stays within 10 points, if it does for long, then then it'll be great ratings until the very end. Yeah. I, because I everybody wants to see an upset. That's true. That's true. And yeah, Alabama is like going to bring massive amount of viewers to the table no matter who they play. So you got to take all those people out. Because they're watching no matter what. So it's yeah. how many more people watch because it's Oklahoma or how many more people watch because it's Clemson. I, I just think we're tired of Clemson. Yeah. We've seen Alabama play Oklahoma like six times in bowl games over the last 12, 15 years. Let's see something we've never seen. Let's give a young team an opportunity. I, I think, I mean, I like the idea. Like, Alabama-UCF would be massive, especially after all the it, – it's like a, a title fight, right? Sure. All the talk, all the buildup from last year where they were both claiming national championships. UCF that's it. The underdog that's just, you know, it, just – It is the all perfect the scenario. And here's the thing. For marketing-wise, for college football, you could not ask for anything more. And what you do is you give this group of five that we call them, that we've manufactured that word, and so it's stuck. We give them all hope. What's the most important thing you can give a team? Hope. No, you're right. Because right now, if they go two years undefeated and they don't get invited to the table, you might as well not be playing anybody other than Power Five teams. And it doesn't, this, the whole thing is just a sham. It's just a complete farce. I, I think you're probably right about that. All right. I'll, I'll tell you this. I was very, very close to putting uh, Texas and, uh, and Michigan in this, mainly just because I thought the you, ratings bonanza would be. You know how out. much I love Michigan. A one-loss Michigan team, if they win out, pretty incredible run. Yeah. Having to beat Ohio State, having to beat Penn State, having to beat Wisconsin, probably realistically they get in over UCF. If they win oh, out, absolutely. they get in over UCF. But yes. I don't – and I love Michigan, and I had them in, and I love Harbaugh. I'm one of the only people in the world outside of Michigan that does. I wouldn't do it. You just got to put Central Florida in. Nobody's beating Bama, so you're leading somebody to the slaughter. Let's at least let them get into the tournament. Now, I'll tell you this. like as far as We were talking about ratings uh, because this is a TV show after all. If you've got which, Alabama. Which makes your sport bullshit, by the way. We we understand that, right? Well, if TV yes ratings and no. I mean, this thing, the whole thing's bullshit. We 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 got to be okay with that. Okay, I mean, I'm fine with it. Like it's a TV show. I'm with you. Like it, but but look, you put Alabama, Michigan, Texas, and Notre Dame into a Final Four. I mean, that's a ratings bonanza right there. Like I, just, I don't know that you get bigger ratings. Do you care to watch Alabama beat the shit out of somebody that? Is a big school more so than uh, than like Clemson, right? Well, yes, but we're not having that conversation. We're yeah, having. I think, little I guys think there's more people. Out. I think there's more people that would watch Alabama, Michigan, or Alabama, Texas, or Alabama, Notre Dame, than would watch Alabama, UCF. I don't know that. Because I don't think those. I think while those Alabama, Oklahoma, are huge. While those fan bases are huge. You're talking about a collective of every fan base of all the little guys that say, you know what, we're, we're all Golden Knights today. And it might be for, for six minutes, but we're all Golden Knights today. I think that's what they're terrified of, though, is like, okay, well, it'll be great for six minutes. 
and then what happens after that? If, if they play Texas and it gets 30 to nothing in the first half, it's going to be the same. The TV's going off. Yeah, and no, you're probably it, right. So, so you can't say, well, we're afraid of Bama blowing them out because they've done it to everybody. The very right. first play of the game has been the exact same in every Bama game, and nobody is prepared for it whatsoever. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty nuts, isn't it? Um, huh, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's God, there's still so much football left to go, but either way, that will wrap up our college football playoff predictions. Uh, don't forget, brought to you by tunicatravel.com. Go check out all six of their sports books. All sorts of information on Tunic Mississippi is down there. It's the South's premier sports gambling destination. Don't forget to check out winningcureseverything.com. Chris, we'll, uh, we'll be back with more videos later this week, right? Yeah, man. All Facebook people, go to YouTube and like our channel. Yes, yes. Uh, subscribe to our channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash winningcureseverything. Uh, Chris, let's go watch some NFL. Yes, sir. All right, later, buddy.